Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. We, uh, we're going to work on this uh, Lincoln here. This is one of our two Lincolns that we got. We're going to try to get these things running. They haven't been running in years. This in here, I think uh, she said uh, 04. When they parked it, it was the last time it ran. Could be wrong. And that one there, 1983 was the last time it was on the road. It was parked in the garage and then, and that was the last time it was it was ran. So we're going to pull this in, in the garage. Uh, it's kind of chilly out here, so we're going to work in the garage and uh, see if we can't get it running today. All right, so we have our Lincoln in the garage. We've got a new battery installed, new cable. Uh, pulled the air cleaner off, checked the fluids. Everything seems to be okay. So Blake, uh, crank it over and just see if it, see if the engine turns over. And nothing. Now, the previous owner did say that she thought that the starter was bad. So. That's not like. Yeah. Maybe yeah, the solenoid in these is on, it's on the starter. All right, guys, so we found we had a bad starter wire. And uh, we changed it out, took the starter out. This is uh, this is what we had here. And um, this terminal here with nut went on was all rust, no contact. So we took uh, another starter wire from one of our parts cars and we put it on so we're gonna give us a shot again here okay it's pouring for the engine all right so we got our battery hooked back up all right blake turn the key see what it does oh well we got that's cool we got uh, some action happening here uh, so let's see uh, let's see if we got some spark All right, Blake turn over Good Wait a minute I don't think we have any spark here May have a bad coil. So uh, we cleaned the points up and we got spark at the point. So uh, we're going to try and crank it over and see if we have spark now. So, Blake, go ahead and crank it over. Let's see what we got here. And. Oh, we got good spark. So that's good. So. I'll throw a little bit of gas in our little spray ball in here. Let's see if we have ignition. All right, buddy, go ahead. Alright, so we made a rookie mistake here. I took the rotor out of the distributor to clean it up and clean the points up. Got sidetracked and forgot to put the rotor back in. So we're putting the rotor back in, putting our clips back on. And we're going to try it again here. I'm going to have a fill in, or we're going to have some kind of ignition. Try again, buddy. Uh, that's 
That's a good sign. That's a good sign. <clears throat> Let me uh, hang on a second here. Let me put this wire back on. All right, go ahead. front brakes so we're gonna see if this thing moves under its own power So uh, took up up the road here, make sure we got uh, brakes. We got front brakes, that's all we have. So you know what that means, don't you? It's really easy to do a burnout. guys so we're back here at the Lincoln uh, this is our second one of the two purchased here uh, with the other one running pretty good we got a couple things to do to it we want to uh, see if we can get this one to turn over see if it'll start hasn't been running since uh, 83 since it was put away in the garage so uh, Blake got the battery put in so Blake hop in there and Let's see if she at least turns over. Go ahead. Well, it turns over. So uh, we're going to dump a little fuel in it, clean the points up, and see if she'll fire. We got the air cleaner off. And, uh, Couple little critters made made a nice home right here. Oh. 
All right, so we clean our points up, clean up our rotor a little bit. The stripper looks wore out, but let's see what we got here. All right, Blake, let's uh, get dump some gas down in here with our trusty squirt bottle. And uh, turn the key, I'll work the throttle. Good? Yeah, yep. Good. Just go ahead. Wait, look, look at the fuel bowl. I see, yeah, it fits, fits pumping fuel. Okay, good. That's the Fuel Nader Mile Master 2000. Got it ready? Let's make sure we're getting spark because we get spark at the points. Let's make sure we're getting spark out of the coil here. All right, go ahead. Good. Go ahead. Oh. We're not getting spark there. Okay, we may have a bad coil on this one. Let's see what we got. Go ahead, bye. Go ahead. Oh. I think this coil may be bad on this one. Well, we got spark at the points, but no spark there. So, we're thinking this car had a, an older restoration, obviously prior to 1983, because the color's been changed. It was actually a a green a little bit lighter than the original one that we got for Blake. Um, and somebody painted this this mint green. I'm not exactly sure why, but... And they did a very thorough job on it, that's for sure. As you can see, they masked... Masked every bolt off. All these clips... Did a very thorough paint job to change the color. It's a shame it got wrecked. But uh but hey, things happen for a reason, so this interior is, is just just beautiful in this car. It hasn't seen the sun for almost 40 years and it pretty much saved it. So uh we're gonna take Take advantage of that. And use some of the stuff in the and Blake's. Alright, get in there. Turn it over. Alright, we got a coil from our one of our parts cars here, so let's Thanks for taking parts from a parts car to put it on another parts car to start it. Go ahead, Blake. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Huh. Good gas. We're not getting spark. Let me make sure there's distributors. These points are still working here. Got good points. Spark at the points there. What the problem is. It's possible this parts core coil could be bad too, I guess, huh? 
Probably. Sorry, Lock. I hate to take the coil off that car, that one's running. So... You have to take one off that. I know, but... I hate to keep taking parts off of... Parts fine. Found a bad coil, we believe, uh, after cleaning the points up and some other stuff. So, picked up a new one at Napa. So, we're going to throw some gas in here and uh, see if she fires. All right, Blake, crank her over. So we pulled out the points, thinking they're bad, and our uh, our one parts car down there, the very first one we got, the one we got in Cleveland, had a Protronics in it, so um, that's better than points, so we're going to try it out here now and see if we got some spark out of it. All right, All right Blake, so crank it over to see if we have spark. Again, it's like what, take, take four? Take five. Whatever, yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, 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 we got kind of spark now. Okay, good. Okay, so now we got spark. So let's see again. Take four, five, six. Go ahead. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, anyway, you know what? Oh, I did it again. You didn't put the hand I didn't put, you. didn't put the rotor in. Um, All right, guys, another another rookie mistake here. Again. I wonder why we ain't got spark. Can't have spark without this little guy right here. Okay. Okay, I'm having a good feeling this time. All right. Take ten. Go ahead. Good. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, that's good. She's coming alive, guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good. Yeah. Accelerator pump's bad for one thing. Right, go ahead. There we go. She's running good, boys.
Your headlights. Oh yeah. Let me move a few things. Wait. Okay. What? They do? Aw, oh, that's awesome. Thing sounds real nice for sitting for over 40, for almost 40 years. Uh, and of course, this one has uh, front brakes and no back brakes only, so let's do a burnout. I'm put in gear first. This is Cross Street Classics. No. <laughs> yeah, the one side ain't spinning, Dad. No, uh, it's not positive. 